In when finally summoned my case back. So now we can finally start building. Let's go. First off, happy May the 4th. And May the 4th be with you. And I'm excited because now, uh, not only do I get to celebrate a day that I love, which is Star Wars, and I love everything Star Wars. What can I say? I mean, we got some lightsabers. I get to finally put this thing all together. So first off, our goal for the day is to get the uh, motherboard mounted on here after I've got the 3950X mounted to the motherboard using the Optimus Foundation uh, CPU block. Uh, I got this from Matt at Performance Precise. Thanks, Matt. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see how this thing looks and how it performs. And we're going to get it put in here. Uh, but what we need to do, first and foremost, is get this thing prepped. Um, it does not have the motherboard standoff screws uh, already installed on the motherboard tray, which I noticed. So we'll get those put in. We need to remove the uh, rear hard drive sled, I guess, tray, uh, to get that prepped for the water cooling. And we're gonna see what all we can put in here today. This will be a multi-parter. I'm sorry, there's not much I can do about that, but I'm excited for the sense of uh, how nice of a build this should be in the end. I really wanna take my time with this, do it right. I have an idea in my head as to how I want this to turn out. I'm gonna go with mostly a black theme, if you will. Might do a little twist in there, we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's get diving into this thing and uh, get it all prepped and ready to go. Let's go. So let's get in here and take this all apart. Uh, one thing I really like are these, uh, how this is all put together. They're really nice aluminum screws, real lightweight, and they definitely have a feel to them. So let's get that done. One thing the instructions have us do is we have to remove this entire hard drive base lid, or the, the entire encasement here, so that we have a room in our front for our 360 radiator. So let's get that taken care of. We're gonna turn it around, get our um, motherboard standoffs put in, and we'll kind of go from there.
Okay, I'm stopping here. I was excited for how this looked on the front. I it looked really nice. However, it's probably, it would be really hard for me to show it on camera. But because there's no back brace for how the CPU block mounts, I am really uncomfortable with the amount of, I guess, bend or uh, sag it's putting into the board. I don't like that at all. This should definitely have some sort of a back brace. Because of that, I am not going to use this Optimus block. I'm really bummed. I was really excited to use it, but there's even the screws don't bottom out correctly. So this is just a really strange design in my part. I'm sure there's a lot of people who really like this block. As of right now, I am not one of them and I will not use it because way too expensive of a motherboard to be using something without some sort of a back brace on it uh, to be mounting this CPU block. So I'm going to use uh, something else. Uh, grab something else real quick and undo and redo. Okay, well, this is as far as we're gonna get today. Uh, the time I spent on trying to figure out which CPU block I was going to use really ate up my time. I started off with that Optimus block. I took a video of it, it's really hard to see, but I started bowing the back of the board. They don't use the back plate that comes with the motherboard for the CPU. There's not a way to use it. I tried, I just said, thought, figured there might be some way of integrating it, but they just very clearly, that's how they use it. And how their screws are, they don't have a stop point like on say a Heat Killer 4 Pro or a, uh, a Fantex block. It's just, you could continually just keep screwing it down, increasing the tension and then creating the bow even more. So you're supposed to just know when to stop. And frankly, I'm not comfortable with using that block um, I'm really bummed about that because I thought that would be a really awesome block to look. I thought it was uh, to use. I thought it would look great with this. Unfortunately, I just am not comfortable in using that. I think that uh, Optimus really fell short with their design of the mounting system. It should be a lot more precise than what it is, and it isn't. And there's no way I'm sticking this in a $700 motherboard, and potentially ruining the board itself. I just that's not going to happen. So. Uh, I'm really bummed about that. Matt, thank you for sending it to me anyway, but I I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I ended up going with the Fantex um, AM4 water block that they have. I had installed it previously on uh, a Hero motherboard. I was gonna use it with a 3700X, but I decided we'll just use it on this for the time being until I figure out if I wanna keep it with this or if I wanna get myself an EK Velocity AM4 mounted block. Um, that was the other problem. I have a couple EK blocks that are the newer uh, Velocity versions, but for some reason, they don't send the AM4 kits along with them, or at least the ones I bought, they didn't send with them like what they used to. <laughs> Customer service, man, I'm telling you, it, it's something. So uh, I do like the EK Velocity block. It looks all right. I might go with a Heat Killer 4. I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point. I'm really bummed because I wanted to use that. I did look at trying to use the Corsair block but in their genius, the only way you can use the um, RGB that comes on the block is if you happen to have a Commander Pro or a Corsair Lighting node, which I'm not gonna use in this at all. So unless you're in a full Corsair ecosystem, their water block is useless. It's just, ah, oh, these things out there right now, it's just so frustrating. Anyway, so I ended up going with the Glacier 360A at it looks nice, it fills the space nicely. Again, it's not exactly the look I was looking for, but I think it'll be all right. Uh, I, I don't know that I'm gonna hook up the RGB portion to that. <sighs> anyway, this is where we're at. Um, bumped, but we'll get uh, a little bit further in it the next time. We may get up to installing the uh, water blocks, uh, or, I'm sorry, the uh, 
the tubes next time. I just gotta figure out what reservoir I wanna use. And we'll deal with that later. Anyway, hopefully this was somewhat of an enjoyable video. If it was, you know what to do. If it was not, you know what else to do. I really hope it wasn't that. Hit the subscribe button for me and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.